So I was uh, browsing uh, Reddit and I uh, came up in one of the subreddits I came across a post which was rather interesting it uh, there it was a GIF of uh, an illusion and uh, the name of it is called the double axis optical illusion so if you look at it uh, it's basically a three dimensional curve uh, which is rotating and uh, the great thing about this is that you can't really tell about which axis the rotation is taking place is it the vertical axis so it does seem like that uh, it is rotating about this vertical axis but then if you you know look at the horizontal axis as in now then you can see that it is it seems that it is rotating about the horizontal axis so which ex axis it exactly is so i thought maybe i could uh, animate this in octave so um, yeah so uh, but in order to animate a curve you need to know the equation of the curve and uh, so I looked at the comments and one of the guys mentioned that it looks like a Lissajous curve. So I searched a 3D Lissajous curve because I need a, need the equation for the curve in order to plot it. right? Um, so this website tells me that the equation of the curve is given as such. It's a parametric equation in terms of t. So it defines the coordinates x, y, z in terms of t. So let me... Uh, so I... Uh, uh, so let's uh, take that equation and plot it in MATLAB and let's see if we can animate it and get the same illusion. So let's cd to the folder graduate graduate computations and open up the editor, name the file list.m. Right. So obviously I uh, checked this curve before, I mean I plotted it before. Uh, and doing some trial and error, I I could get the values of a, b, and c, and uh, phi, and uh, size, so that I could get the same curve as in this um, this uh, illusion. So the equation that the equation has this form, but you need to uh, figure out the values of a, b, c. So let's write the equation. So it's sine of three times t y is sine of 2 times t and z is sine of 2 times t plus pi by 2 right so now um, let's calculate these values at some values of t and let that go from 0 to 600 maybe with steps of 0 0.1 um, I calculate them and store them in capital X. I calculate x small x at all the t and calculate and store it in capital X. Similarly, I do it for y and z. Now let's plot it. We have the three coordinates, so I can use the three plot three command to plot these in three-dimensional space. Let's use um, points, red points, um, or just points to plot them. Uh, the another thing that we can do is let's label the axis so I know which axis is what. So x label is x, y label y, and z label z. All right, let's open up Octave and run this. So it says there's an error as always. Let's edit it. I shouldn't have written this at the rate here and run it so yeah we got this curve um, doesn't really look like the one that we had here but uh, I need to view it in a certain way so one thing I can do is I can um, view it in the um, xz plane so there's a command called view which changes the angle so one way you can change the view is by you know making use of this tool or you can specify exactly the view that you want so this is the view that I want right um, so now it looks somewhat like that again if you compare let me open it up side uh, let me open it side by side so this here and yeah so uh, it does look like this again if you compare but uh, there's Okay, so my figure is actually rotated by 90 degrees. So we need to rotate this. 
by 90 degrees to get the same orientation as in the as in the GIF or GIF right how do I rotate, rotate this by 90 degrees so there is something called rotation matrices so you can look it up rotation matrix in MATLAB or Octave it works both in both the softwares um, so let's look at this so this is C F. this is the y axis this is the x axis so i think i need to rotate this about the z axis right because that's the axis coming out of the plane i hope these things make sense to you i need to rotate this this way or that way so that rotation would be about the z axis so let's look at how we can do rotations in matlab so what you can do is um, you can define a rotation matrix so if you want a rotation about x axis you take your coordinates in the x y z you make a vector or you make a matrix of it and then multiply it by this matrix so you get your rotation in the x axis with an angle of alpha similarly if you want to rotate about y you get you write this for z you write this so let's write all three of them for now okay so let me call it rx for the rotation over the x axis and it is um, wait i cannot scroll it uh, that's inconvenient so anyway yeah, yeah this is visible so let me write this one zero zero and this is also a function of uh, theta right or alpha so let me just call it a one zero zero uh, then we have zero cos of a minus sine of a and we have zero sine of a cos of a so that's the matrix for rotation about the x-axis for rotation about the y-axis you have yeah so the first one was one zero 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 cos a minus sine a zero sine a cos a for the second one the, for the rotation about the y-axis i have cos of um, let it be okay let's call this p it doesn't really matter it can be anything so cos of b 0 sine of b 0 1 0 and uh, minus sine of b mm, 0 and cos of b right and similarly for the rotation about the z axis as in terms of gamma so let me write g cos of gamma minus sine of gamma 0 sine of gamma cos of gamma 0 0 0 1 so i think we've got let me just recheck cos cos g minus sin g 0 sin g minus sin g cos g 0 and 0 0 1 all right so i have these uh, matrices defined now if i want to rotate um i need to make a matrix of my coordinates so let me make a matrix called p right uh, it can be anything again just random variable names so let me call this p or let me call it po the original uh, coordinates let me fill it up with x y and z so what i'm doing is i'm making a vector and i'm placing them side by side so x first then y then z so i have a 600 um 601 cross 3 size vector now i can multiply this by uh, any of these rotation matrices so let me write okay so what i can do is let me pick up these um, okay let me place it here instead of plot 3 what i'll write is p of um, p not uh, it's p0 uh, p0 take all the rows in the first column y corresponds to p0 all the rows in the second column and z corresponds to p o all the rows in the third column okay so let's see if we are getting the same thing with a view of 2 yep but I need to rotate it right so that I haven't done yet 
Oh, so how do I rotate it again? I need to rotate rotate this about the z-axis. So let me call p p naught times r z the rotation matrix about the z-axis, and I need to rotate it by an angle of 90. So pi by 2 and radians. And now let's pick this up again. So shift p and let me plot it after this line. Or um, wait, wait, I can also do this. Right, so that way I'll know. That way I'll I can see the difference. Uh, I can see the rotation itself in the figure. So let me call this figure one. And let me call this uh, figure two. Let me open the tab at the side so that I don't have to quit every time. Right, and view two. So as you can see earlier, this one was uh, right. It was this what we had, and now I could rotate it by 90 degrees. So I got this figure. So right. So we have got we have come to the starting point of our uh, illusion. Right. So we have this type of figure with us for now. Now I need to rotate it. So we have already explored the tools that we can use for rotation. Uh, you guessed it right, it's the rotation matrices. So I need to rotate it about, um, did I close the window? I think I did. Let me just plot it again. Right, the second one, figure two. I need to rotate this about, I can rotate it about any axis. I just want to know whether uh, I'm getting the illusion or not. But the way to rotate it is that you pick up the axis about which you want to rotate and then multiply it by the rotation matrix in intervals of, you know, uh, in, in intervals of let's say 1 degree or 1 radian or 0 0.1 radians, right? And then if you plot them one after the other, if you update your figures one after the other, it will seem like that it is rotating. So let's do that. So for that, uh, first let's get rid of all these. I don't have, these were just to show you that it works. So let me just delete all this. I don't think I need them. I need this one though. I need this line. And I need this as well. Okay, so let me just keep this. Alright. Fine. Okay, so this is where we, uh, you know, change the angle by 90 degrees and this is where we plot and check that we have in fact got the correct orientation and now let's rotate it. So how, let's rotate it between, so we need to choose some angles, so let it be between 10 pi with a interval of 0 0.05 let's say to 10 pi, minus 10 pi to 10 pi. Okay, what do I put inside the loop? So I need to update my original orientation by multiplying it with what? So I am going to let's say I choose to rotate it about the y axis. So I pick up R y. Let's take P naught times R y and the angle I give it is I right which is going from minus 10 pi to pi. Okay and then I uh, copy this line and I paste it here and what I'm going to plot here is P now because P is P naught times R oh, excuse me right what else am I going to do so I also let me fix the view here itself view is 2 should I do anything else um, I don't think for now I think this is enough let me write this command called draw now so that the plot update one after the other uh, so let me stop it I, I don't want to print all the values it will take a lot of computing effort so let me uh, put a semicolon and run it so it does seem like that it is rotating so I can get rid of the axis also so let's quit 
get rid of the access just type a command called access off and that should do the trick right okay now let me you know put it the same way as it was so can you see the illusion now i think it should be visible i'll help i'll help you along so when you um, okay so when you look at these points these one these intersections when you look at this one and this one it seems that the rotation is happening about the x axis right just concentrate on this and this point and when you look at these points this one right these points the, this this intersection point then it seems that the rotation is happening about the y axis but which one is it <laughs> so you know for, uh, we know for sure that we are rotating it about the y axis but it seems depending upon where you look it seems that it is also rotating about the x axis so that's uh, that is the illusion that is up to you i mean you cannot decide exact uh, what exactly is happening that's the illusion right so anyway the overall aim of this uh, video was to see if we could uh, replicate the illusion that illusion is a winner of the illusion of the year prize by the way you can look it up it's called the double axis illusion and uh, we could do we could animate it quite simply with by using the tools of matlab right and the other uh, matlab or octave and uh, i think the the most useful thing that we used here are the rotation matrices so remember how it works you just take the take your coordinates and choose the matrix uh, and the one i mean you choose your matrix by deciding about which axis you want to rotate your uh, coordinates in and then you simply multiply it with your coordinates so i hope uh, it was fun again i'm not sure but it was fun for me to plot this out so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one